Whether you're controlling the critter population, plinking steel, or big game hunting, precision is the desirable end result. But if you truly want to get the most accuracy out of your rifle, look no further than the Ballistic Advantage Premium Series. This lineup covers four calibers here at BA, from 223 Wild and 300 Blackout for the AR-15, to 308 Winchester and 65 Creedmoor for the AR-10. All Premium Series barrels come with an 11 degree recessed target crown and are made from 416R stainless steel for the most demanding marksman. The last feature to note is all Premium Series barrels come with a uniform bead blasted finish. In the end, the options contained in this series force one common problem for all who shot barrels at BA. Which barrel do I select? Well, if that's the case, why not buy two? And we're back. All right, so the uh, BA has landed, along with the primary arms parts I ordered. Nothing fancy there, just some much needed replacement springs and detents and stuff like that. Uh, however, I am interested in the barrel first and foremost. So let's go ahead and take those primary parts over here. And let's uh, dive in and take a look at it. See if we can get this camera to cooperate. I Jimmy rigged the rig. It's now not falling on its own, but definitely going to have to address that at some point. All right, it's about that time. Cope check. I watched so many videos on these, and I looked up so many forum posts, and I've had input from some of you that own these that say they're they're, they're great, good to go. So. I am going to, oh, excuse me, Merry Christmas, oh, another AR-15 safe space sticker, we're racking these up this week, aren't we? We're, we're going to run it and see how it goes. Okay, so this doesn't come in a box of its own, with any materials of any kind, they probably get these in bulk, which is fine. My, uh. I think one of my other ones came in a box. So. Ballistic Advantage. 16 inch, 223 Wild. BA Hansen with Low Pro 625 mid-length barrel. Premium Series. Level 3, baby. Alright, so how are you adhered? Hey, you, get out of here. Why don't you pee in my gun room? You do enough of that in the living room. Drum roll, please. Boy, that's light. <laughs> that is really light compared to my son's Liberty barrels. Sealed. Nice. See if we can zoom in on the text here. Let me get that to focus at all. No? Not going to play nice? T23 Wild. 1 and 8 twist. 416R stainless. HPMP. Magnet. Magnetic particle inspected, right? There is the pinned gas block. However, the pin still has to be installed, which is at the bottom of the bag. I'll look that up before I do it. And we have our mid-length gas tube here to install. Although the trick is, that's already on there, so I guess I'll have to take that off to get that uh, tube installed. I don't think I want to jimmy rig it. And then we have our condom. Those threads look nice. Need to get a better camera. This cell phone is having zoom issues. All right. 
Uh, bead blasted. Put the condom back on. Just in case. <laughs> you don't drop it or some shit. Let's check out the crown. Looks pretty good. No, are those M4 feed ramps? I'm not sure. I didn't I forget if that's an issue or not. I'd say it's a it looks pretty good. Um so yeah, well, I'll get on that, get that gas tube locked in. Luckily, I just bought a whole bunch of gas block roll pins. I got all my roll pins and my side parts in here. But several weeks ago, when I was frustrated, I went on and bought a bunch of different small parts. Tons of gas block roll pins, so we're good there. I did have to go MacGyver on my uh, Ford Controls jig. With the Dremel, because it only really likes certain, like BCM style gas blocks, and uh, I kind of screwed that up. So I'm gonna have to order another one of those. They have a new tool out actually that's uh, a bit more beefy. I think it accommodates different size gas blocks as, as opposed to the old style one. So I might have to take a look at that. So let's move on to our little primary part order. Nothing crazy, but, you know, Cobra Tech. Anyway, do a quick inventory, at least. i got to sharpen this Cobra Tech. It doesn't, it's not very sharp, I will say that. All right. Let's see, what do we got here? Only oops kit I could find on primary at the time that wasn't a $60 kit with the grip and everything was an Anderson for a few spare parts. But uh, they're good for backups. Ten bucks, you know. What are you going to do? Let's see. What is this? It's not food, Ozzy. Relax. <laughs> you hear his bags moving. You are... What, what are you? All right, you are springs. These are safety detent springs, I believe. Does it say it on it? Watch, I end up ordering the wrong shit. How many did I get? Six of these? I don't know. I think they're the, for the safety detent. The safety detent and the pivot pin springs are uh, pivot pin springs are different. That's an EDM forward assist mil spec. That's uh, gonna go in uh, build 1.0. And what is this? This is a pivot pin set, advanced something development something or other. I forget the name of the company. Look decent. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and uh, file these off to the side for now. I need to get, I have a thing in the garage that's got old tools and, and screws. I need to get something like that or just repurpose that for all my small parts because I'm starting to get a decent little collection of them just to keep them organized. Not have bags all over the place. Easy to lose them. Uh, what else we got in here? Another B5 P23 and ODG. It's always a plus. Love these things. Love the angle. Love the texture. We got Ford Controls EMR HC with the hidden. One of these bad boys is going to get those. I forget who needs one. Let's see. Uh, the Suns Geisley could use one. ADM already has one. Oh, the Geisley ODG doesn't have one. That's who's getting this one. Uh, what's this? This is an Expo Arms mil spec generic uh, buffer spring. Didn't want to break the bank this time around. That's for uh, build 1.0, I believe. We've got a Geisley Maritime bolt catch, also for build 1.0. Needed a bolt catch. Figured I'd spend a little extra, get something beefy. If I can get my big fat mitts on. I like these. 
Uh, we got an Expo Buffer H2, also for build 1.0, I believe. Nothing fancy. And, uh, oh, another EMR HC. So we got two. Cool. Uh, what is on? That's a four control serrated. And he doesn't have a uh, upgraded forward assist yet. So I think I'll leave that on there. One of these is for the Geisley. And the other one, ADM doesn't need it. Uh, Sun's Greyman doesn't need it. This is the 13.7 that's got a Battle Arms development uh, extended one. So that'll go on on uh, Sons Geisley. So he's going to get one after all. He still needs some decent ambi safeties. I might get a set of those 10 Badger Condition 1s. Or just another set of the Radian Brown or FTE, probably Brown, uh, talents. And that should round out my safeties will all be upgraded from mil spec with the exception of bill 1.0 uh he's still rocking a mil spec but you know choose your battles eventually uh, and that's it for the parts uh just a couple of thank yous thank you for your order yada 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 great ghost precision and that's it for this arrival, which is a good one. It's a good one. I just realized I also got this a little while back, and I haven't tested it. It's a universal speed loader for pistols for 9mm. Uh, 9mm and 40 cal. So I want to test that. I want to get my mag loaded. We're going to do that because we are heading to the range soon. I was at the dentist this morning at 8 a.m. My uh, abscess came back with a vengeance. And uh, I was in pain for two days. Last night I barely slept. And uh, he, he bitched at me for not scheduling the deep cleans faster. He gave me stronger pills. He wouldn't give me pain pills, though. They don't give you pain pills for anything unless you have surgery now because of all the junkies and all the abuse of that stuff. So, thanks, junkies. He did give me some stuff, though. It started kicking in some stronger antibiotics, a steroid of some kind, and 600 milligram uh, ibuprofen. I already feel 100% better. And I dropped the down payment on a six plus thousand dollar dental bill. Paid him thirty five hundred bucks for the first few procedures, deep cleans, extractions, and then I'm gonna have a couple. I think a couple of bridges, uh, and then you gotta pay the balance when that's almost done. So it sucks. It is what it is. My savings are completely gone, depleted. Any fancy more gun purchase stuff is uh, ain't happening anytime soon for a while. So this is it. But other than that, I will buy some ammo. That's about it. And head to the range. Like I said, I give my word. I'm going to start going more. Uh, and yeah, so I guess we can do a quick little test fit. I mean, I want to take it in the other room, get it on there, get that barrel on properly. But let's... Uh, oh, we don't need that. We just need to... Uh, these out. It's a Psionic BCG and ODG Radian Raptor. Just do a just a little test fit. See how that see how that looks. Turn that flash off. Get that condom off of there. Okay, just does a quick mock up. That looks pretty good, boys. Hold on, turn that. Pokes out a little. Oh, that looks good through the rail, doesn't it? That looks good through that rail. And then we'll put, let's put this back in here. This is going to come flying off. Hold on. Careful, careful, careful. This will be a nice little touch. 
me in that here. All right. So we've got our Psionics. Oddly enough, the Psionics MP3 is pretty almost dead on to the bead blasting. I'd say that looks cool. I mean, you know, I know it's all function over form, but looks are cool too. I, I think that's going to work just fine. And of course, that's getting my Nox on the end of it. I'm pretty sure that's the best way to go. Give him a Nox. He doesn't need the Nox. It's a 16 on a 13.5, 13.4 rail. But uh, I figure the Nox will work. Looks good. All right. As far as accuracy, that's all down to the shooter, you know, and I still suck. So what I'll do is I have one more bipod. Hold on. When I was still learning, and I asked, hey, hey, snobs, what, what kind of bipod should I buy? They're like, Atlas, Atlas, Atlas. So of course, I bought a Firefeld. Here he is. Um, it's not junk. It's not, like, super cheap to the point of it's ridiculous. It does have a... The ability to lock at an angle uh, but for testing purposes it will suffice it is spring-loaded I've had this a while I got this really early on it is spring-loaded and you can see this handle here that's the, uh, back here somewhere that may interfere with my uh, shit so I might have to move that back but uh, it lets you lock it in at an angle which if you're on like a, I guess a certain type of uneven terrain and you're going for markmanship i don't know but we're going to use that to try to get our zero on to, with that uh scope but uh not a bad overall so far you know all i can judge it by is the aesthetics i like it it's not shiny it's got a nice dulled flat tone to it it's not one of those stainless barrels that looks like a mirror i didn't want that um, you know, I think we got ourselves a good little shooter here, boys. At least I hope so. All right, so that's it for this one. I'm going to uh, do a separate, quick install video. Um, and I'll just post a follow up with the music, a quick boom, 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 banging it together, just because it's fun. Until YouTube starts telling me to take them down because it shows install stuff. But I'm such a small channel that nobody cares. Just like in life. Nobody really cares. So, is what it is. Alright, so uh, I'll see you once this is all complete. And uh, more importantly, we'll get everything back on. Get the scope on. Everything locked down. Get the Nox on there. And then we're ready. Oh, you know what? Once that Nox is on, I was worried that I was going to uber carbonize this rain. Once that Nox is on, I think I have just enough distance where it won't be too bad. I may just throw some painter's tape on it at the range. Just to avoid having to clean it. Uh, but I'd say that's pretty... Uh, looks cool to me. I don't know. Alright. That's about it for now. Cleaned up a little bit. Organized. Gonna get the range bags out. Don't want to start loading these bastards up once I get everything ready. And we are going shooting soon, so... That'll be fun. That's about it. Can't think of anything else I want to share. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.